In the elephant problem, we're given a mean and a standard deviation and a sample size. Uh, 64. Um, let's first find our sample standard deviation. So we take the population standard deviation, divide by the square root of our sample size, and it looks like we get 1.1. So the first one is find the probability our sample mean is more than 25. Find the probability our sample mean is more than 25. So we can convert that to a z-score. So there's the 25. Here's our population mean and our sample standard deviation. And it's a, a fairly large z-score, 3.1. Um, a z-score of 3.1, or getting a, a z-score more extreme than 3.1 is, is not very likely. Here's a z-score of 0 right at the mean. Uh, z-score 1, 2. I mean, we're talking about this tiny bit of area right there. When we look it up on the table, it looks like the probability that the average age uh, would be over 25 is about a tenth of 1%. Now we can use all of this information, these two bits of information here, in part B. In part B, we're interested in just the probability that it's less than 20, that the sample mean is less than 20. So we use our Z formula again. And this time we get a much less extreme z-score. Meaning this event is much more likely to occur. So a z-score of negative 1.45, and we want less than, negative 1.45, so here's one, it'd be about right here, and we want this area. So a z-score of negative 1.45. Looking that up on the table, we get 0 0.0735. That's the answer to part B. Part C is a little trickier. In part C, In Part C, we're interested in if the age will be between 22.2 and 25.5. Now, the mean is 21.6. We got that from the first um, Part A. And if the standard deviation is 1.1, one standard deviation uh, to the right would be 22.7. And we're interested in 22.2. So let's say 22.2 is about here. all the way up to 25.5, which I bet is about here. So we're interested in this area here. Notice there's a little area up there we're not interested in. So we kind of have to do this in two steps. First, if we find the area of 25.5, the way our chart works, the way our chart works is it tells us all the area to the left of the line. So if we find all the area to the left of 25.5, it's gonna give us too much area. But if we subtract the area to the left of 22.2, .2, it will 
give us the precise amount of area we're looking for. So let's start with that 25.5. The 25.5 is going to lead us to a z-score of 3.54 and if we look up the area of 3.54 it, it maxes out on our scale so we end up with 0.9999 now that's too much we need to subtract out this piece we don't want this 0.9999 represents all of that area I mean if all that was shaded in so when we look up the 22.2 and find a z-score, our z-score is 0.55. And that leads to an area of 0.5. This point 7088 is representing this big blank area here. So if we subtract these two numbers and find the difference, we'll have this, the area we actually want. So the probability that the sample mean is between 22.2 and 25.5 equals our first area minus our second area. So, a little shy of 